Kids Playground. Hooray! When I saw competitive jump roping pop up on the news, I was like, seriously? Competitive jump rope? How is that a thing? And then I looked it up. Turns out my next guest is really good at jump roping. I'm Lexi, and this is Delightfully Different. Jump roping is an up-and-coming sport, and it's starting to gain traction around the world. There are 125 competitive teams and 100 demonstration teams active in the United States today, and the World Championships recently happened in Colorado Springs. Hi, my name is Ella, and I'm a professional jump roper. A professional jump roper and an award-winning jump roper, a gold award-winning jump roper. You just won at the World Jump Rope Championships. Tell me what you won. Um, I won first place in wheel pairs. It's a jump rope event where there are two of you. You're both holding a rope, but you're swapping handles in the middle. So you're controlling half of your rope and half of the other person's rope. And then I took second in double edge triad. So that's three people jumping in the middle and two double edge turners. Holy cow. Okay. So you've got all these partners then that you, that you jump with. And one of them is a mm-hmm. young man that you got the one award with. Yes. What is his name? His name is Seth Ingram. And um, how, does he live near you? Do you guys live in the same town in Logan? Yes. Yeah, so I am, we both grew up kind of knowing each other. He jumped for a different team in Idaho. Um, oh. He came to Utah State for school and he started coming to our jump rope practices. And then he was like, do you want to jump? And I was like, absolutely. Because he's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> well, and it turned out to be a great pair because you guys yeah. won. <laughs> and then the other people that you jump with, how do you know them? Um, so some of them are from the team that I grew up on in Logan called Just Jump In. Okay. And then there are more jumpers from different states that were from different teams that came to Utah State to jump. And you go to school at Utah State? I do. Okay, gotcha. You're a college student now. <laughs> um, and then this event that you had won this at, it's like an international event. Are there people there from all over the world? Yes. So there were 3000 competitors. Holy cow. Really? Yes. It was crazy. And there are people from all over the world. We had Hong Kong, China. We had Japan, Korea, Australia, Canada, South Africa. I'm like, there were so many people there. I walked in and I was like, this is something I have never been to before. I've only ever done national competitions. So I was used to like walking into the arena and being like, oh, hey, I know them. They're from that team. I know them. They're from that team. But walking into that competition, I was like, this is crazy. (laughs) What did it take to get there? Did you have like preliminary qualifying events that you had to get through? Yes. So in order to qualify to compete on Team USA, you had to submit a video at a qualifying tournament by April 1st. And then they're going to have a panel of judges judge them. And then the top three groups in every category get the spot to compete as Team USA at Worlds. So you're one of the top three in the United States of America. (laughs) You were representing the United States. Did it make you feel um, patriotic being there repping the USA? Absolutely. It was... (laughs) It's so crazy to think that that was something that I did. <laughs> like, I, I think about it all the time. And I'm like, that wasn't real. <laughs> How, when did this take place? How long ago? Um, about two, three weeks ago. So it's very fresh up. Yes. <laughs> nice and fresh and hot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the routines that you do, like in the competition and in general, because I watched a ton of your videos, do you make them up or is there someone choreographing that for you? Um, yeah, we make them up. So... As far as judging goes, there are some required elements that your routine has to have. You have to have multiple unders where the rope is going under you four or five times in one jump. Kind of like how others and fighters do when they're Yeah, like double under, you know, (laughs) and then you've got like gymnastics power skills. So you're going on your hands and pulling the rope under you, doing handsprings, flips and stuff like that. And then you also have manipulation where you have to wrap the rope around your body or release the handle and catch it. And then that's how you kind of like base your routine. You kind of want it to be diverse and entertaining, but you also want it to be as hard as it possibly can be. So you're, you're putting in really difficult skills. That's That's crazy. Incredible. (laughs) When did you start doing this? How old were you when you first started jump roping? I started jump roping in first grade. So I was six. And And what made you want to start doing it? Was it just fun on the playground? And then it turned into something bigger? Yeah. So the elementary school that I went to actually had the just jumping club there. So they had flyers and my PE teacher gave me one and I went to one of their after school club 
workshops and I was hooked and I <laughs> haven't stopped jumping since. It's like almost you got lucky having that in your school because yes. not a lot of schools have that. Mm-mm. It's a, a very unusual sport. You would call yes. it a sport, yes. <laughs> okay. Um, what is the difference between jump rope and rope skipping or are they the same thing? They're the same. It depends on the country. Like Australia thinks we're so funny for calling it jump rope. They're like, it's rope skipping. <laughs> we're like, all right, sure. Same oh, thing. Oh, funny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I had no idea. I thought maybe it was a totally different thing. Yeah. Um, how did you find the uh, other people wanting to do this? Like, so the, some people probably went to your school. Yeah. On this club mm-hmm. team. And then where do you find the other people that you do this with? I mean, it's, it's a pretty niche sport for sure. But when you find like a good group of people, usually a town that has like one club, it's pretty well known. And I think a lot of people get into it, but I think it's just such a fun sport that once someone picks up a rope and they kind of just start skipping around with people, like you just get hooked. You just love it. You can't stop. <laughs> it's incredible. When I watch the videos, I'm like, are they on trampolines? They are not <laughs> just jumping. Holy cow. I know it's crazy. What point was it when you were doing this for fun where you realized I am good at this and I'm going to do it competitively? Um, competitive jump rope has always been in my life. Um, the team that I jump with, they, um, have always attended a national tournament and a regional tournament. And so when I started, that's kind of what you train for throughout the year. Our team did performances to kind of help raise money for us to be able to go compete. And that's what we train for all year long is, all of the different routines that we had to learn and create and then perform them at a national competition. But I didn't ever, I competed at one worlds that was in Florida when I was younger, but I didn't really ever compete at a world event until this year. And I've been doing pretty well at nationals the last couple of years where I felt like I was getting pretty good at jump rope. But when I went to worlds, I did not have high expectations of winning. I was competing against the best of the best. And I don't know what everyone else is going to bring, but I mean, when I won gold, I was like, this isn't real. This is crazy. <laughs> you're still humble about the whole thing, too. I like that I asked you, when did you figure out you were good? And you're like, oh, I'm not that good. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it's a lot of practice. I imagine, yeah. It's got to be nonstop practice. Uh, yes. Are, you, when you practice, are you just doing, like, jump roping in, uh, the, in your routines? Or do you do other workouts and stuff uh, in order to, like – bulk up to do this right yeah I definitely I mean when I was younger we would condition like in the beginning of the season and then after that we just kind of were training routines as hard as we could now that I'm old I go to the gym (laughs) (laughs) I definitely train myself a little bit harder now but um, what sort of what's your favorite trick to do or what are some of your like standard moves that that say Ella Oh my gosh. Uh, I love anything pretty. That's my biggest thing about jump rope is when I go out, especially even at a competition, my biggest thing is I just want to perform. That's all I want to do. I want to make it look entertaining and beautiful. And I want people to want to see jump rope and to know about jump rope. I love it. So anything beautiful, kind of (laughs) dancing. I love it. I love it. There's a lot of dancing involved in this in Mm -hmm. in roping as well. Um, What are some of the categories in the competitions? You named the two that you had won in, but what are some of the other things that people do? So we have individual freestyles. So that's where you have your own rope and you can do it by yourself. You can do it with a pair or there's also one where you do it with four people. So you all are jumping your own rope and have to stay on together in complete like sync. And it's like really difficult to have a really beautiful, clean routine in that. And so when when someone hits a routine like that, it's really awesome to watch. And then there's a couple more double Dutch events where you have just three people. So you've got two turners and a jumper and they're switching. Then you've got one where it's four people. You've got two jumpers and two turners. And lately uh, there's some Japan competitions. They're called double Dutch contests. So they're dancier, like a lot more dancey than what we usually see at a normal jump rope competition. And that can have as many people you want. And it's like, not everyone's jumping at the same time. They're dancing on the edges and that's really fun to watch. And then, There's also other than freestyle routines, you have speed events. So you're having a time to track, seeing how fast you can jump in a certain amount of time. So there's an event called uh, single rope speed sprint where it's 30 seconds and you are jumping alternating feet as fast as you can. And so they, it's so fast that they just count your right foot and then double your score. And people are getting like, people are getting like 250 jumps. Really? No, they're so fast. Oh, <laughs> it's insane. It's almost like where a performance meets sport. It's sort of like the two things yes. together. It's so yeah, for real. It's like the best of both worlds. 
Have you ever been injured doing this? I have never gotten seriously injured jump roping. I have gotten like some stress injuries from just doing it for over a long period of time, but it's nothing that I can't push through. So I just keep going. I love it. You're a trooper. Um, (laughs) How much do you practice? Is this like a seven day a week thing? Um, not always. I practiced probably like two or three nights with my group last year up until competition was coming up and then we were practicing four nights a week, but I also coach a jump rope team here in Logan. So I was jumping with them three or four days a week. So I was jumping probably six days a week for the two months of May and June. But other than that, it's usually just like three or four nights a week for a few hours. (laughs) When you guys come up with a a new routine, if you and your partner or your partner is your team, Mm -hmm. how long do you practice before you perform it? How long do you work on that routine? When we perform them at competition, it's usually something that's been months in the making. Um, We usually probably start like hammering down a routine in about June or not June, January. And then January to July is the time gap that you have to like master this routine and like the off season of like right now to December, we're usually just playing and trying new things and creating and seeing what will work and what won't and pushing ourselves to try really scary things because that's the time to get injured (laughs) in the summertime. So there's a season for this. It's kind of like basketball or football. There's a jump roping season. Yeah. It's yeah. Competition is usually in the summer, but training hard is starts in the winter. Huh. Are there any jumpers that you look up to or anybody that's yes. made it big that you, that you're like, I'm going to be like them. Yes. Um, there are some really amazing people. I have a really close friend in Maryland. Her name is Jenna and I adore her with every fiber of my being. And I want to be her. <laughs> She'll say the same thing, but you can't, <laughs> she's just so cute. Um, there are some really amazing jumpers like, uh, Nick and Kaylee Woodard. There are a couple that are really pushing the sport of jump rope and they're just, I mean, they're like 30 something and they're still jumping as hard as I am. And I'm like, I want to be them. <laughs> I want to keep jumping <laughs> as long as I can. And they're just sweet, sweet people. Um, how old are you? I'm 19, 19. Okay. You got a little ways to go before you yeah. get <laughs> got a little bit more in me. <laughs> Um, Now, I happened to catch an episode of you on Nightly News with Lester Holt and your group Just Jumping. Yes. Was that last year that you were on that, the year before? It was last year, yeah. (laughs) How did that end up coming to be and how exciting was it to be on the news with Lester Holt? (laughs) I know. Well, um, we just have people contact Just Jumping every once in a while wanting to do a news story. And they were like, yeah, uh, Lester wants you on the show. And I was like what? That's crazy. And, uh, my other assistant coach was like, I want you to talk. And I was like, okay. And I'm like, I've got my earpiece in and I'm like freaking out. Cause I'm like, what if I can't hear the questions? It's live. I'm freaking out. And, uh, he is the sweetest man. Right? <laughs> and it was such a cool opportunity. I'm like, it's another one of those things where I'm like, that, that didn't happen. <laughs> I'm like, it did. And I found it on the internet real. and you even have an IMDB page because of it. Did you know that? <laughs> I did not know that. That's so you, funny. You got a listing on IMDB. That's where I found it in the first place. I was like, is this the same girl? Oh my God, it is. <laughs> That's cool. wild. Well, you did a great job on it. Um, <laughs> how did they end up contacting you to do that? I think they just emailed our head coach, Patrice Wynn. Uh, from Just Jump In. And I think they found a video or something online and they're like, we want to, we want to get them on there. So. Oh, that's so cool. Did you guys end up getting like a lot of uh, people interested in jump roping after that aired? I Yeah, I think we definitely go through fluxes of like jumpers. Uh, usually the beginning of the year, like the school year, we get a lot of jumpers. And then after we do performances that are local, we get a lot of ton, a ton of kids that come. People that are interested. Give mm-hmm. it I'm Lexi, and this is Delightfully Different. Today, I'm talking to Ella, a professional jump roper. Okay, so when I was growing up, I used to try to do double dutch, and I was mm-hmm. not good at it. I could maybe do one leg, then the other, and then I'd be wrapped up in the ropes. What's the trick to double dutch? Man, I... Honestly, kind of the trick to double dutch is having good turners. Like people, people <laughs> will be like, no, you're jumping off, you're jumping off. But the turner's got to turn to the jumper. 
And people okay. don't get that. So turners have their own rhythm and they're just expecting the jumpers to read their minds. But it's a lot easier as a turner to watch someone's feet and turn to the way that they're jumping than a jumper to like try to figure out the way that their arms are turning. So the turner's job is just as important as the jumper's job. A hundred percent. I did not know that. So now I blame it on all those other. Yes, kids. it's not you. It's them. <laughs> <laughs> um, do you uh, so you go to college? Do you pl- jump for your college? Do they have a team? They have a club team. Um, oh, they do? At Utah State, yes. That was started okay. by one of my teammates. Oh, you guys basically had to start. Yeah. <laughs> okay, gotcha. And how has it grown since you started it? Um, it definitely did at first, but then the person that started it graduated. Oh, okay. <laughs> and so then it kind of got rough there, but... It's got a few of us and it's pretty fun to all get together and it's fun to have different levels and to teach and to watch people like start to pick it up and understand and create on their own. That's awesome. There's got to be like a rhythm to it that it clicks all of a sudden. Yeah, I'll bet. Um, Now, do you consider yourself a gymnast? No, (laughs) I do not. Gymnastics while you're like you're jumping and doing gymnastics at the same time. (laughs) I definitely do learn some gymnastics skills, but I am no gymnast. Those people are so talented. (laughs) They are very talented. But yes, I wouldn't discount what you're doing. either. And then uh, and then do you consider yourself a dancer? Because it's also dancing. That's so funny. I don't. I should be. I should be like, yeah, I'm a pretty good at it. (laughs) I saw you shaking your butt on some videos, you know, in between the jump. (laughs) Um, Are you familiar with Jump Rope for Heart? I am. Tell me a little bit about that because I'd never heard of it before and I just came across it. And I I I am much too old to have ever experienced it. It is pretty old. I think it was an old campaign that was just pushing the sport of jump rope and, um, the benefits of it being a heart healthy activity. And they went to schools or something and tried to get- Yeah, and I think they went to schools and they were just doing assemblies, teaching people about jump rope. It's, I think it was all an effort to just push being active and having fun and healthy lifestyles. You never had anything to do with it though? No, sadly. (laughs) (laughs) Jumping on your own, you didn't need it. (laughs) Um, Where has jump rope been taking you so far, like travel wise, where have you gone to do jump roping? Um, I've been all over the country, so I've competed at the ESPN center in Florida. Um, I've had other competitions in Florida. We were just in Milwaukee for nationals this year, Ohio, Cincinnati last year, California, Montana, Idaho, man, I'm like trying to think back. I've been jumping for a long time. (laughs) Where Where was your favorite place to go and do it? Oh my gosh. Well, when I was 12 years old and I got to go to Disney World after, that was my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> You're the second person I've talked to that's done something pretty awesome and said they liked going to Disney World after. <laughs> it's, it's like a, it's a double whammy. I get to do what I love and then I get to go to Disney World. <laughs> <laughs> love it. Um, so what's next for you? I understand you're going to be doing um, some performing with Cirque du Soleil. I am. I'm very, very excited about it. Um, after that, we're planning on me and a couple of my teammates are planning on moving to Vegas. Okay. We're gonna jump rope there and see if we can get some gigs and make a career out of it for a little while. Now, when does your um, when do you start with Cirque du Soleil? Uh, November. It's a two month contract, so I'll be there November, December. And then, do you travel with them, or is it just in Vegas? Um, so this one will be, I am on the Northeast tour. So I'll be wow. in New York, New Jersey, Virginia, Pennsylvania. So when people go to see it and they see the jump roping portion of it, you're one of the jump ropers. Yes. I didn't even realize I had it until I looked it up reading about you. And I was like, well, they're, they're, they certainly do have jump roping. What was the, how did you get the gig? What was the audition process like? <laughs> well, um, the sport is kind of like, you know, people, you know, so I have a lot of contacts and uh, some of my teammates have done tours with uh, this company before. So they were my in <laughs> and they've really jumped to for you competitions just, and stuff. You just sort of knew somebody. What, and were there other people trying to get the gig as well? Like, did you have to beat anybody out? out or uh, there- Not I really. Know. I mean, they give they give the contracts to the group called Flight Crew. Um and so flight crew gets these contacts, offers them to everyone that's a part of flight crew. And then once they have like leftover ones, that's when they're like contacting other jumpers that they know. Or if one of the flight crew members knows some jumpers, they'll like recommend them to the guy that gives them out. <laughs> <laughs> and so flight crew, where are they located? 
right now in Orlando, but they are moving to Vegas. <laughs> oh, they are? So would you like to be a part of that group? Um, yeah, I mean, I would love to jump with more people. It's always that's a goal. Blast. That's the goal. <laughs> um, do you know what your performance is going to be already in Cirque du Soleil, or do you start like training in, in the fall? So in October, we'll probably get together, me and my group, and we'll jump and practice together. But then there's two weeks. I think it might only be a week. There's a week of rehearsal before we start touring. Only a week, huh? Yeah. You go do it in front of all the people. (laughs) Hard work. It's exciting. Now, it's very theatrical. Have you ever done acting or theater before? I mean, I did plays in elementary school, but I... I stopped there. <laughs> so you're used to an audience because you jump in front of audiences all the yes, time. Yes, I did. I've done performances since I was six years old, and I've been jumping in front of big audiences since. Well, you certainly weren't shy on the TV, so I can <laughs> see you doing well in front of an audience. Oh, um, what are other career outlets for people who do jump roping? You said you want to move to Vegas. What would you do there as a career for jump roping? I think I would just pick up, you know, you go to a, a circus show and you watch – silks and you see the roller skaters and the contortionists but we're just kind of one of those acts where you can just sneak into one of those shows and show what you got (laughs) so you and your and some of your team are going to go and do it together so when you go and try to get like a gig in a casino or something Mm -hmm. or be part of another performance you'll try out together yeah okay awesome i hope you guys can make it that's that would be so cool (laughs) um so what is next for the sport of jump roping? I understand y'all are trying to get into the Olympics. Mm-hmm. <laughs> How's so, that going? <laughs> I mean, I think it's going pretty well. Um, they announced at Worlds that I am not going to say this right, and I can't remember what it is, but someone on the Olympic committee has officially recognized jump rope as a sport. Okay. And so that's definitely put us in the running and we're one of, there's a few sports that are being looked at by the Olympics, but I think we're the only one that got broadcast by the Olympic channel during our competition. So it's looking pretty good. Oh, Keep your fingers crossed because it's, it's an awesome sport and it should definitely be spread. To and not easy. I mean, mm-hmm. watch you guys, I, there's no way that I could do the stuff that you do. It's incredible. I mean, if snowboarding's in there and ping pong's in there, <laughs> you guys should be in there. Um, <laughs> What That's does your family crazy. think about your your career goals? <laughs> you know, uh, it's not hard for parents to hear that your child is going to run away with the circus. <laughs> but <laughs> they're very supportive of me and they, they want me to follow my dreams. So they're awesome. Well, I mean, it's a much fancier circus than the regular old circus. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, and your friends, how do they feel about what you're doing? Are most of your friends jumpers as well? Um, I have a lot of jumper friends, but I also have a lot of friends here and a lot of them are very sad <laughs> that I'm leaving and it's, it's a hard goodbye, but it's also like needed. I'm ready to, to push myself to new, new places. Spread those wings and fly. Plus they're going to have a place to stay in Vegas now. Exactly. I said, come visit me. I have a, I'll have a house. I'll, you can have my bed. I'll sleep on the floor. I don't You're going to regret that. You're going to regret that a year from now. <laughs> um, so jump up the whole community. It, the worldwide community, I guess, or at least the national community of jump roping seems like it's a bit of a family. Do you oh feel gosh. that way? 100%. There is no sport like it out there. Like it's you, someone will walk onto the floor and they'll be maybe your biggest competition. And you're sitting there hoping they hit the coolest routine you've ever seen in your entire life. Everyone supports each other. Everyone cheers each other on. And it's just so fun and everyone just wants to know each other no one is acting too cool for each other or too good for each other everyone's sharing their tricks they know and their little tips and secrets of how they do things it's just such a an amazing community to be a part of that's really cool i love to hear that um so how can we follow you and support you online i know you got a tiktok and an instagram and everything um so i do have a jump rope instagram it's jumpinella j-u-m-p-i-n-l-e-l-l-a um and I'm definitely planning on posting all of my circus content on there. But for now, it's just me playing around with all my jump rope friends. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're really fun to watch. I, got, I went down a little bit of a rabbit hole today. So I'll, I'll put links to um, everywhere that I have found you online uh, when, awesome. I post, when I post this podcast. 
And I wish you the best of luck with everything. I can't, I'm going to have to go see Cirque du Soleil now. I've never been. And I'm yeah, I hope to see you at one of my shows. <laughs> well, so I really nice appreciate you. It was nice to meet you too. I really appreciate you taking the time out of your day to talk to me. Thank you so much. You're going to want to check out Ella's videos. It's acrobatic. It's entertaining. It's amazing. And it seems impossible. There are two U.S. jump rope organizations, USA Jump Rope and the American Jump Rope Federation. But you can probably find a jump rope team in your local city if you're interested in getting yourself or your kids started. Before Jump Rope can become a full member and participate in the Olympic Games, 40 countries must recognize Jump Rope as a sport. It's currently recognized by 20. Thanks for joining me on this episode of Delightfully Different. Coming up next Thursday, I talk to Willie Wilson, a rodeo clown. If you or someone you know lives life differently, email me, Lexi on the radio at gmail.com. That's L E X I on the radio at gmail.com. Or go to delightfully different podcast.com. Have a delightful week.